Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Star Fox Adventures And it's me here, Turbosven, as usual And in the last episode, we returned the Spellstone and then we saved some dinosaurs, got a bigger scarab bag And then we bought this, which we are now going to give to this I mammoth don't believe it! This item was stolen from me many years ago. I believe it was around the same time that a strange floating dinosaur visited the wastes. In return, I will give you the chance to prove yourself. Whoa! The call of huh? the Snowhorn will begin your challenge. And there's no horn is this horn that we got in Dark Eyes Mines. So are we just gonna have to run? What? That was the wrong direction. Okay, so can you please move? Uh, Tricky, can you flame? Yeah, you can flame. Flame it good and then move. So I just need to go to these like different. Platforms and you just use the horn pretty much. So that shouldn't be that hard, really. But mm, I don't want to jinx it or anything because it's probably way harder than I think it will be. The fuck? Okay, can you please die? Do I need to shoot like that tree? Okay, that kind of makes no sense at all, but I'm fuck it, I'm good. I'm not complaining. Well, I was complaining, but not anymore. And now I'm kind of running out of time, so I need to run to this platform and just blow the horn. Quickly, yes. And where am I going now? Now we are going somewhere over the rainbow. Now we are going this way. Where is this? Is this it? Okay, I'm too late now, but I guess. That was it. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna put that on Y because, like, we are going to use it a lot. So I want it to be on the shortcut, so we don't have to fiddle around in the menus. And I was almost on my way to jump there again, which I'm not gonna do. Okay, so flame the ice, and then I will get hurt, but I don't care because I just want to get this done. And the recording is still going strong, which I really like because it seems it's like I watch I'm watching like the recording up uh, walk well, wrong way. It's like I watched the record I watched back uh, or well uh, watched like quickly watched back the footage from the last episode and I just kind of made a quick test run in between and it seems like everything is fine. Like everything is just going smooth and smooth is fast. Reference again. Again, I didn't even reference anything this episode. But yeah, so I think it seems like the recording issue may be fixed. I don't know. I've only been recording for almost five, uh, five minutes. So if so, I will say this: like if the episode, if this episode, if I will be able to. Uh, finish this episode like record for 50, 50 minutes for 30 for like 20 minutes and it won't have a hiccup or anything I would I will say that I think then I will think the I think if I manage to do that the recording issue may be fixed which is really good and so then it wasn't because the PVR was overheated or anything it was just simply that the version that I was using was bugged which I was kind of suspecting and I know I wasn't alone because a lot of other people suspected it to be bugged as well and uh, 
Yeah, because like they, a lot of people suspected that it that uh, the graphic like Windows had released some like updates to like the graphic drivers or something, which uh, a lot of people suspected that like those updates updates like fucked up the recording software for the HD PVR. I don't know if that's true, but if but if that's true, then like that's just stupid, really. And uh, I didn't really pay attention to where the final thing was supposed to be, but I guess it was over here, and it wasn't. So I'm just even more stupid. But uh, hey, I, at least I got a fuel cell. That's always good to have. Okay, so I have no idea where the platform was. And I just fucked up so bad that it's not even funny. Really. Okay, so this time I will actually... Uh, this time I will actually pay some attention to what's happening. So... And since you've already seen this like two times already, I'm not gonna make you see it one more time. So I'm just gonna cut to when, uh, to where we was when I fucked up. So see you guys in like a bleep. Okay, so this time I will look where that is. Oh, it's up there. Okay, now I know where it is. Okay, so I fucked up even... I, I didn't really fuck up, like I was sort of on the way there. It's just that I went the wrong way. I had the... I ha had... Like the idea of where I was going was kind of right. Because instead of going left, I went right and right was wrong. Which is kind of ironic because... Yeah, right. Right was wrong! It kind of feels wrong. It feels weird to say it, but yeah. Okay, so now that we're up here, I don't think that there is. Yeah, I was going to say like I don't think there is anyone left because like we had kind of reached a dead end with this platform. So, and like they had all been in it. Like in a continuous, or like they had, they all have been on like this path that I was like walking, that I was kind of like walking. And since that path kind of like ran out, I was like, oh, it's gonna be. Or, oh. sorry, I just looked at the computer again. I, I need to stop looking at the computer and like start focusing more on, uh, the game and also what I'm saying, mostly on what I'm saying, because watching just plain gameplay without anyone saying anything interesting is just boring. Or maybe you like that, I don't know, but to me, just watching gameplay that is no that has like no commentary, especially when it's like uh, in like this format, when it's like basically just like a let's play without commentary, that's just really boring to watch. Because, like, the commentary is what makes the Let's Play. Really. Well, mostly. Because, like, that's also... A lot of people are, don't understand the whole, like, Let's Play... Like, doing Let's Plays on YouTube and, like, watching Let's Plays. Because people are like, why don't you... I'm not gonna talk to him. Because I know what this is. Yeah, like, a lot of people are, don't, like, understand this whole, like, Let's Play thing of like watching someone else play a game and I mean like it's not I mean sure it's it's the game because like you to watch the let's play you kind of need to be interested in the game to begin with but it's not really the game that makes the let's play like the, it's not the game that you don't really watch because of the game because like you watch well, like, you do watch for the game, because, like, as I said, if it's a game that you're not interested in, you most likely won't watch the video. But, I mean, like, the thing that makes the video, like, fun and, like, entertaining to watch 
is the fact that there is someone talking that there is commentary because like without it it would just be a kind of like boring gameplay video <sighs> because i mean like fuck that was bad because i mean like, um i was a like hardcore call of duty fan like way many years back like i don't play uh like call of duty games really anymore uh like modern warfare 2 i I can play Modern Warfare 2 like some time now and then, but I don't play it as much as I did back in the day. But I mean like, uh, if I would watch a video of someone playing Call of Duty back then, like just a random match, like I would think that is just so boring. Like it would be fun if he was like this super awesome, like game that like, he was like, so, like super amazing at like what he did but like he but I mean like it was would be much more fun to watch a video of someone playing the game like playing the match and also doing commentary at the same time because then like you have kind of his input on the game like he's uh, like Kind of like what he feels about the game, like he, what he feels about the different weapons he uses and stuff like that. If it is a Call of Duty game, like this works with every game out there. Because, again, like, it's the commentary that makes the video interesting. Not the, like, not really the game. Or like the, again, the game can be interesting. But... Mostly just the commentary that makes the video. Okay, so you pick that up. And you go past that. And now I don't really see what you're doing. And I guess you're past that now. And then there isn't really anything else in the way. Yeah, so now I just need to swim over there. And use the bamb on the wall. And hopefully I won't be needing to go back once more. Because doing that would just be very annoying. It would just take a lot of time. Okay, so... How does one do this? Okay, come here. Come here, little bomb. And good work. Now... I will put you down here, and I will go ahead and see if there is something to be worried about. And so far, those flaming, those like pillars of flames here, are kind of uh, nerve-wracking. And I don't see one of those flying things, so I'm just gonna... Over broke here. Okay, I can't jump up with them, so I need to throw this over the thing. And go! And we did it. Good job, Jims. And let's talk to this. Hopefully, this will not be such an impossible test like the last one. The test of strength. Use the strength against this. If you succeed, it will become yours to return her. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's just one of these again. Well, that's not hard. Just gonna button mash. Done! <laughs> that took literally like 8 seconds. That was nothing. I thought they were gonna be... Because we had a another like test of strength where I bought like a bunch of sharp claws in a like certain time limit but now I, I just needed to button mash which like yeah, it was kind of it was really easy yeah enough with that you collected the fourth chrysalis with I think actually like I remember in one of the earlier episodes of this recording session like maybe episode 22 or something uh, when I returned the last Crusoe Spirit, I said that there were 
that I thought that there were like eight Krasoa spirits in the game. But now that I think about it, like we have this one and like I think we are not going to get another Krasoa spirit until like after uh, the next like piece of planet. Planet piece. So like we don't really have so I mean like that would be so this is the fourth one. Then after the plant piece, I guess we will be getting another one, and that would be the fifth one, and then Yeah, I, I just remember remember what the last one is. So there are six one there are six Crusoe spirits in the game. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we have six Crusoe spirits left in the game and there is one spellstone left as like you know. So yeah. You can kind of tell from that, like, from that information that there is not a whole lot left of this game. I mean, like, there is still a, a like, a significant amount left, but like, we are ge we're getting towards the end, is what I'm saying. Because, like, um, another funny thing is that, like, to 100% the game, to get 100%, you don't need to get any, like, extra things or anything. Because like the only, because like there aren't, there aren't really like any collectibles or anything like that. It's just kind of like going through. Like if you just play through the game, like normal, just like beat the game, then you have hundred, a hundred percent of the game. So yeah, there isn't anything, really isn't anything to do like on the side. It's just kind of like going, th like through the main story, and then like that's it. What I guess is like, I guess the uh, toys that you buy for Tricky, I guess those might uh, count as like a percent or two, but I don't think so. Okay, so let's actually, we are getting near the end of the episode. We have only like a few minutes left. And I'm going to go and leave this Krasoa spirit now because we don't like when we go to the Krasoa palace and leave a Krasoa spirit, uh, spirit, we don't spend a lot of time there because like the last time we only just kind of went there and then we just went straight to like the door uh, to the place where we leave it. So we don't spend a lot of time here. So I can really just. So yeah, we can just go here and end the episode by leaving the Krasoa spirit. And so then we will have that taken care of. And so the next episode, we will... So then in the beginning of next episode, we will do something else. And what we will do then, I don't know. Because, yeah, this part of the game is like 90% blind to me. There's only like a few memories that I have of what I'm of like what of this part of the game. So let's walk. Can you man fuck you move? Okay, so there's a door over here. I think that's the only door on this floor. And it's one of these doors, so I think this is the one we need to go through. Uh, this is the one that I I'm looking for. I hope this is the one. It certainly seems like it. Yeah, this is the one. So this is the fourth one. And if it is six, then we have two Krasova spirits left and a spellstone. And that's it, I think. And we have another one! Up there. Because actually this is... I know for a fact, because remember last time we were here leaving off a Krasoa spirit that uh, I went up to the roof and I tried to leave a Krasoa spirit like up on the roof and I do actually remember that the last Krasoa spirit in the game you actually leave or is the one that you leave up there because yeah like with the last Krasoa, wait 
Three spell stones down and only one to go. You seem to be getting the hang of this. Now then, it's time for you and Tricky to go to Dragon Rock. Your toughest challenge yet. That's easy for you to say, but where do I find the gatekeeper? He is closer than you realize. <laughs> He who has no voice has plenty to say. Huh? So it has to be one of the dinosaurs in this place. Because I'm like, we don't really spend a lot of time between like these. Where has the general found such weapons? I don't know. But like we don't really spend a lot of time. Like between uh, these the pieces of planet anymore. I hope you're treating the prince well. Yeah, I am. So, like basically everything we do between like the pieces of planet are just like getting a Crusoe spirit and then like that's it pretty much. Not now. I'm tired. So, yeah, and he said that like it's someone that don't really have like any words to say or something like that so and also he said that he's closer than I think so it has to be someone in this like in Thorntail Hollow I think so uh, I'm just gonna quickly just run around even though I know we are out of time but I'm just gonna quickly run around and talk to some of these da fine dinosaurs and see if I we can find a gatekeeper because if so then next episode will start with us going to Dragon Keep or what it was called. Where has the general found such weapons? You said the same thing as like the other dinosaur just to the left up here. With the exact same voice also. Uh, okay, so we have two more to talk to. How about you? Give me lovely green moss anytime. Okay, fuck you. And then we have this one. And if he f he's not the one, then I will end the episode here. I should have guessed there was something odd about you. The Warpstone said I should find you. I haven't spoken since something terrible happened. Something that I am ashamed to admit. I too attempted to save our planet, but I failed. Tell me, what happened? I led a group of dinosaurs against General Scales. He learned of our plan before we could act, and launched a full-scale offensive against us. We never stood a chance. He imprisoned three of my closest friends on Dragon Rock. And it is also where he has taken the Spellstone. So how did you survive? If Scales let you go, it could only be because... I am the Gatekeeper. The gateway to Dragon Rock is now open. Please help my friends. They are on your side. Okay, so just as I suspected that there was a dinosaur here. And so now we have the gateway open to the next piece of planet. Which is Dragon Rock. What did it say about fuel cells? Did I have enough or not enough? I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, I'm just gonna go and see if I can actually fly to Dragon Rock real quick, or if I need more fuel cells because I didn't read that. And uh, we won't be flying there this episode. We will be flying there next episode. General Scales has unleashed the full force of the planet's dark energy, mutating Dragon Rock into a desolate wasteland. He's captured a number of dinosaurs and is planning to change them into powerful killing machines. It's rumored that one such creature already exists. This final spellstone will bring dinosaur planet back together. Flip me out. 
and we will be doing that next episode so thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe i would really much appreciate it and i will see you guys next time on let's play star fox adventures i almost said command and conquer 3 again but it's not command and conquer 3 it's star fox adventures again see you guys then